Luna and UAD brothers and sisters, what is going on? The LA-2A is famous as all get out. It's basically in every song, at least somewhere. And I'm sure you've all used it at one point or another. So I figured I would share some secrets on the UAD and UAD X version of this plugin. Here are five secrets to the LA-2A. All right, secret number one, just like the 1176 collection, the LA-2A collection also has a ton of versions. All of them do something a little different. The LA-2A legacy is this version over here and it's only available in the UAD2 platform. It is a low DSP version which if you've watched my video on the 1176 I do like to use these legacy editions on background sources as well as uh, when I'm tracking and when my sessions are large enough to where I'm starting to get DSP limited this is pretty helpful to use that. Next up we have the LA2A Silver. If you were to get one today this is probably what you're going to end up getting unless you find something old and used and vintage. Then they have the LA-2A Gray, which is this edition. It's kind of like the precursor to the silver. There are differences between the two. This modern one has the fastest attack and release time. The Gray has more of a medium attack and release time. Then finally, we have the LA-2, which is like the beta, the original. Uh, it's got the slowest kind of attack and release. Obviously the plugin models all of the weird characteristics. You can get a dramatically different sound just kind of bouncing back and forth between all three of them. Secret number two is going to be turning off the compression entirely. In order to do that what you do is just pull down peak reduction until you're below zero or until you're all the way down. And why would you even want to do this? Similarly to the 1176 video you can get the color of each box and the other way to kind of push the unit further is get the distortion characteristics by driving up the gain just remember as you do that just be sure to pull down your fader and uh, compensate for that extra volume that you're getting from that that gain so that's secret number two secret number three applies to only the legacy and the gray and the silver which is the limit versus compress selection switch what does that do well, in comp mode or compression mode, it gives you about a three to one uh, compression ratio. In limit mode, it's defined as infinity to one. So it totally changes the way it compresses. Defining your threshold by using peak reduction is gonna be very key to getting a cool sound out of limit mode. If you're curious what to use or which one's better and you asked me, I'm gonna tell you every time, just use your ears, audition it, and find which one you like best. I find myself kind of gravitating towards comp more as I use the LA2 uh, and the LA-2A with the 1176 on vocals a lot of the time. Or if I need something gentle, again, I'm probably going with compression. So play around with it, there are no rules. Guys, if you wanna hear these secrets in action, I've just launched my new Class X line of presets. These presets are based and built off everything in this video and more. Each Classics pack is both UAD-2 and UAD-X compatible. They work in any DAW, whether you're in Pro Tools, Logic, you name it. They're designed for post-production, so you don't have to have UAD console running, and this includes Luna. Now you can find all the presets right from within the Luna preset browser window. I spent a lot of time dialing these in, so they're already gain staged for post-production ABing, so you don't have to. Now I've included some of my favorite presets in these packs. Some of these presets have been used in songs that have been on the radio and even some of the country music networks. Classx is a great way to learn how to get the most from these plugins, and it's also the best way to support the channel so I can keep bringing you guys new content and find new ways to help you guys in your creative endeavors. Guys, your support means the absolute world to me. Click the link in the description below to find out more. I truly hope that you guys enjoy these new presets as much as I do. Secret number four is the internal reference level. Now, a lot of plugins today operate on this idea of negative 18 decibels full scale. The LA-2A collection is not at that level. It's at negative 12 dB full scale. For this plugin, what that really means at the end of the day is that your peak reduction and uh, gain knobs are, they kind of have a wider range of accuracy. Uh, it's kind of like you're zooming in on the dynamic range of that area. At least that's kind of how it explains it in the manual. So maybe I'm wrong. Somebody leave it in the comments and roast me if you need to. Uh, but hey, the more you know, right? Negative 12 dB. Secret number five is the high frequency emphasis knob. Uh, and what is this even really useful for? Well, going back to the old days when they designed this machine, 
They designed it for broadcast situations. And in these broadcast scenarios, oftentimes broadcast engineers would apply some sort of a 17 decibel boost to the signal. I don't know if that was like a hardware thing or if that was like a necessary thing due to bandwidth, I'm not really sure. But nevertheless, there was a huge boost at 15K and above. And so they allowed you to have this high frequency emphasis knob to calibrate to whatever equipment you're using. And what it does is it makes it more sensitive to the high frequency content, or another way of thinking of it is less sensitive to uh, low end frequency content. So think of it this way, if you have a kick drum and you make it uh, more sensitive to high frequency content, it's gonna react to like the click on the kick drum. Whereas if you make it more linearly sensitive or sensitive to all frequencies, it's gonna react to that bass in the bass drum or the kick drum. Now by default, it's all the way to the right, which is the linear setting. Um, if you wanna make it more sensitive to high frequency content, you go all the way counterclockwise. Now this could be very useful again, if you're working with the kick drum, bass, uh, vocals even. What I've found is that if I start to make it more sensitive to high frequency content, I've gotta turn that peak reduction up higher if I want it to react more towards uh, the rest of the frequency content on whatever signal that is. Again, the more you know, uh, so play around with that. That's what that is there for. So that's about all I have for you on this edition of UAD Secrets. If you've enjoyed this content or found it useful in the slightest, please give it a like, leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything I missed or if there's a secret you have when you use the LA-2A. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for all things UAD and Luna. If you'd like to support the channel further, go to thestevekinney.com. I've just released the new LA-2A presets. Uh, they're available now. Again, they are specifically for the LA-2A. They work in Luna, Pro Tools, UAD-X, cross-platform. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.